Good morning everyone and welcome back to another day in the life vlog. It is a Saturday, it's the 15th of August and we thought we'd vlog today as we have a few errands to run. We've got a few bits and bobs to do but it's actually grey rainy day which I'm quite enjoying actually because it's been so hot this week so it was a bit weird to put like longer sleeves on and leggings today but this vlog is very kindly sponsored by Big Potato Games. We're going to be showing another new game today. As you guys know I'm a brand ambassador and I absolutely love talking about Big Potato and playing the games and I do have a discount code which is brogan20. It gets you 20% off on their website. The link will be below if you're interested. If you're going on any staycations or doing any kind of UK trips this year they do loads of smaller travel size games. P for Pizza was so popular last month and I really recommend going and checking them out if you want some new games to play in your life but today we're going to be sharing herd mentality and we're actually going to go and visit my grandma today because we are overdue a visit she adores Benj adores him and she loves little Bonnie as well so my mum Benj Bonnie and I are going to go over to visit her today and I thought we could bring the game because my nanny loves games loves games so i thought that could be quite entertaining don't often get to see my nanny on camera um so <laughs> might try and get some clips here and there of that and yeah we've got a few errands to run we're going to start by walking bonnie in the rain so i've got my spirit jersey on and maybe we'll stick on a movie we just started umbrella academy season two last night we finished selling sunset season three which was amazing and um, there's actually i saw a trailer on twitter for millionaire beach house or something it basically looks like the same thing it's coming august 26th so oh, i just love those like reality tv trash kind of dramas so good it feels like it's been ages since i've done a day in the life vlog i think it has been actually it's been a few weeks welcome back and let's do the day look her collar and her lead is hanging on a little bonnie hook, bonnie hook. yep I'm not gonna lie, it's quite nice to have you on a walk with me today though. So Benji's nice worked away all week, I didn't tell them. All oh, right, yeah, I've been in the Isle of Wight all week. Isle of Wight. The travel lodge we've been staying at. Yeah. I've been doing uh, road works outside all night oh. until about three o'clock in the morning. Oh my God. So what with the heat, where you can only crack your window open like three inches. Um, in a hotel, a tiny yeah. A little pathetic fan. And then, then working outside, oh, it's been horrific. I've got like four hours sleep every night. Yeah, and so. you've been wearing a mask. But you can you? tell from my voice, I'm just like. He's a little bit run down, <laughs> bless him. I'm going to get dressed out of the spirit jersey in a minute, but I'm going to restraighten my hair. Oh, that's my phone. Gary C, love the new vlog. Sat watching it with Adam over breakfast. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Oh, thank you, Gary. I watched this film this week work it absolutely loved it it's a dance film but it was so good it had um liza koshi in if you ever watched her youtube videos she is a great actress actually it also had jordan fisher in and he's really good in it and then sabrina carpenter is the main actress um so oh gary is calling good morning good morning how are um, you how are you good how are you Just finished doing my hair and makeup while I was on the phone to my friend Gary and Bonnie's just been sat here brought me up all these toys wanted to play but now she's sleepy you're such a darling girl I love you so much you're still a bit wet aren't you you're still a bit wet I'm wearing this very lovely dress that was gifted to me from phase eight I'll show you in the mirror in a minute last night Benj and I had to do a little bit of paperwork because we're applying for planning permission to get our curb dropped out the front of our house. One car goes up the, the drop and the other car doesn't. So we need to drop the other half of the road, which we've had somebody come out and they said that it's possible. We had to get planning permission. And when you get planning permission for anything, you have to provide like different maps of different scales with the markings of what area you want the work done and the materials needed and all that kind of stuff. So we did that last night. I wanted to say thank you so much for the love on the glamping stuff, actually, the pack with me the tour and the vlog. Loads of you really enjoyed all of that and I enjoyed making it. And I actually have just booked another, well, I booked an Airbnb actually uh, for Benji's birthday at the beginning of November. So we'll film that weekend for you, but obviously it's not for a few months. Here's what this dress looks like, by the way. Really like it, nice and floaty and comfortable. 
So this is herd mentality. Firstly, the box is amazing. It's like velvet on the cow print and it says whatever you do don't stand out it's age 10 plus 4 to 20 players you've got to think like the herd so there are questions and you have to decide what you think the most popular answer will be essentially so everyone secretly writes an answer if your answer is the majority you'll win cows but if your answer is the odd one out you'll land the pink cow and your herd will be worth nothing for now and there's like a squeezy cow in here let me just show you so this is what it looks like inside this was the um promo card that they sent me set up in the rules but don't forget they have all the youtube rules video format on their youtube channel which i prefer um here are the tokens and the little cow pen where's our cow here he is little pink squishy foam cow <laughs> and then yeah we're gonna go and play it with my mum and my nanny we'll see what they come up with just made a little stop at tesco because my nanny loves the crispy cream donut holes I'll show you. I'm going to pick up some boxes for her. Oh, I love a Krispy Kreme. But she likes... Oh, they're cute. She likes these. Oh, I'm going to get a mini box and a donut for a whole box. All right. Some of those. Some of these. Okay, now. They've bought you donuts on the table. Your favourite. Yeah, I know. But I'm eating these. them on my own. <laughs> She's not sharing. She's not sharing them. You know what? We're over here as well. Look, it's you and me. Me and Stacey Solomon, obviously. They both avoid the pink cow. Okay. <laughs> right. Players one and three both wrote soup, and players two and four wrote yogurt. This is the majority tie, which means no one wins a cow token. Thank okay. you, Nanny. It's going to film us. I didn't like this. Oh, no, I won't. You know, they won't see your hands. No, they won't see my hands. can't see you. That was undead. <laughs> you just got out of the coffin. <laughs> Your hands. Don't pull my like hands because I look like I'm dead. <laughs> just got out of the coffin. That's nice. <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> do you know what family you're coming to? I mean, you don't really get to choose family, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look at there's a nice one. That's, what? What? that's, that's an eyeliner. That's an eyeliner. Oh, with, an eye, with an eyebrow. <laughs> It. You can't use oh, that. What do you win anyway? What do you win? You, you win, win a, a, little, a little cow token. A, a little cow biscuit. Look, it's got a cow on it. Yeah. I don't want that. So. <laughs> you win your donut holes. Yeah, you, you, you win your donut holes. If you lose, oh, if you lose, yeah. they come with us. Surprise. I will if I win. Not <laughs> <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> right, the aim of the game is to be the first player to collect eight cows. Love it. Thank you. <laughs> Do this by thinking like the herd and writing down the same answer as everyone else. Now, I had to say, I'm missing a pen now. <laughs> no. <laughs> green tokens are worth one cow. So do you swap your three token green ones for one? You only win one cow per round. Use the three cow token to stop the bank from running out of one cow. Oh, I see. So you trade some in. Right, everyone's got a sheet of paper and a pencil and you've got to think like the herd. Oh, I can't think. <laughs> It's quite important for this game. Absolute, <laughs> Absolute No, it's really I easy. I think I auctioned. No, no. <laughs> it's really easy. The question is, what's the best fast food restaurant? Oh, she knows those. She right, loves now, fast food. Now, think of what you think we're all going to write. So you've got to think like everyone else. You've got to think, what's the best fast food restaurant? You don't know the name of the best fast food restaurant? <laughs> 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 Amazing. Right, Bench, what did you write? See, what? this isn't my favourite. I read but McDonald's. I think everyone will say McDonald's. I said McDonald's. Oh, okay, so we'll get a token. Uh, Renee, Renee, what did you, you put? Fish and chips. Renee, Renee, what did you write down? <laughs> Show it on the camera. Fish and chips. <laughs> fish. It's not a fish. It food. is fast food. It's just not put, a restaurant. I don't know the name of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she has to have this, does she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you want to get the cow? Yeah. The only way to get rid of the pink cow is for another player to be the odd one out later. And then you pass it on. And yeah. while you're holding the pink cow, you can you can keep collecting so, cows, but you can't win the game. What's the best sandwich filling? Ooh. What do you think everyone will um, think? Of uh, what? Of meat, anything. Meat or... Whatever you think is best in a sandwich. Jam. <laughs> jam, jam. I love how she thinks jam sandwich. Oh, that's oh, tricky. Oh, you lot. Mm. It's hard, because I know what I'd want, but I don't think that's what you'd want. 
and then oh, that's half in the game. So you could write just tuna or roast beef or chicken or Spam. ham, like whatever you think. Banana. <laughs> Banana <laughs> as a sandwich filler. Like a man. <laughs> Why is a banana sandwich? Banana. <laughs> I put chicken. Oh, I egg, put chicken. Egg mayonnaise. Oh, <laughs> egg mayonnaise. Oh, the like best sandwich filling. Yeah, 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 like yeah, there. <laughs> but I like banana. Banana sandwich banana. is nice to be fair. So you two get a thing, we and egg. we don't get nothing. Name a very cold country. Mum wrote Iceland. Nanny wrote Iceland. I wrote Iceland. I wrote all mums go to Iceland. Iceland. <laughs> Name a word beginning with Z. Zebra, zebra, nanny, zebra. I put zoo. I put zoo. Oh, we're so so in sync. We have a yeah, split. This is a majority tie, which means no one wins a cow token. Oh. Okay. Right, what's the best room in the house? Oh, nanny put bedroom. I put bedroom. Kitchen. There's no food in the bedroom, is there? Yeah, we all sleep. I spend most of my time in my kitchen. I sleep. I like sleeping. You and I put uh, beds. I was going to put the bathroom because you can have a nice bath. What's the worst place for a tattoo? Oh, oh, and a prick, I should think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even cross my mind. I said face. Oh, I thought I put lower back. Oh, you you won the game. Have you I won the game. Eight. I won. Oh, Moo Moo. Oh, oh. oh, I haven't been taken though. Because you haven't been losing. <laughs> oh. What do you get for winning? Your donuts. I win your donut holes, don't I? You what? Your donut holes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was enjoying that. Thank you. Can you do another game? Do you want to go around again? Look at her. Have you got them all? Yeah. 14. <laughs> yeah, this has definitely brought some laughs, hasn't it? I quite like this game. Do you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what have you written, Nanny? I forgot her name. Bonnie. Oh, I did Bonnie too. She wrote, forgot her name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I put dog, Bonnie. <laughs> I put dog as well. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what I did you put? Ducklings. Put? We all love ducklings. Ducklings? Yeah, we've got some ducklings at work. Not your baby, baby yeah. Bonnie. Yeah. Isn't that the cutest thing well, I didn't thing think in you would say dogs. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'll cover her ears. Don't listen to him, darling. <laughs> oh, I love the fact you put a dog for Bonnie. You could have just put dog. <laughs> I'm trying to think I like all my body parts. I was going to put eyebrows. You like all my body parts? <laughs> me walking around. Are you sure? Walking around looking surprised all the time. Oh, what did you put, Nanny? <laughs> Whiskers? Body part? Name something you lose as you get older. What did you put then? I put your mind slash sanity. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> My mind! I put memory, is that the same I've, thing? Yeah, you guys oh, got it then. Too. I put teeth. <laughs> teeth. Oh, that's right. I'm losing. A bear runs at you, what do you do? <laughs> I, I swear to God, if she puts herself, I was going to write it down. Did she actually? <laughs> I put run. I put run. I put run. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Nanny. We did not write <laughs> self, but that was a brilliant um, answer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I won. You won <laughs> ages <Yeah>. ago. <laughs> <laughs> I just like playing the game. That's a very good game. It's funny, isn't it? That really made me laugh. That was different. So funny. So, so, so funny. I loved that. It's so amazing how a game can like bond you, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's just something that we always get to go around and we'll chat and just chit chat and stuff, but it's just lovely to play games and laugh. And It's a rainy day, we had a cup of tea, we had loads of cakes and biscuits. Anyone else's nanny or grandma or grandparent just leave all the biscuits biscuit. out? Every biscuit I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. She had everything, she had crisps, she had um, uh, custard tarts, yeah. um, she had every, just... Almond slices. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. I had a really good time actually, so I'm really glad we did that. And my nanny loves seeing Benj and she loves Bonnie too. She does. Um, so it was really nice. 
guys because we don't always all get to hang out like that. Um, but now we need to pop into B&Q yeah. and we need to go to your dad's house to pick up some things as well. Do you I'll think... probably go in the van for that. Oh, you want to go in the van? So Benj often works away and when he does, he tries and stops at local farm shops and he gets lots of lovely produce and meats. And we have recently started shopping at local butchers for our meats. Obviously, I get a lot of stuff from our Tesco food shop, but there is a really lovely butcher's near my mum's house and my nanny's house, and he's just gonna pick us up some like roast beef for some sandwiches and some sausages, because we love sausage, mash, and peas with gravy. So if you watched my Come Shop With Me video, you'll know that I got a few new things last week. Down on the floor, I've got my seat cushion for when I sit out on the desk when we bon. And I got this little basket from Matalan. Do you? Yeah. I think it looks really nice in the corner there. It just makes yeah. it look a bit neater than lining up our sliders. And then I also picked up this from B&M a couple of weeks ago. And I'm going to fill it with some bits. Yeah, I need to decide what else I want on those shelves. So that's new. And then also, you're, you're not new. You're going to make the sandwiches. But also we've switched out. We had a frame, like a photo frame up on the wall here. And as you can see, we have... A glass board now. We've been saying for ages we wanted a nice board. Show them the one we yeah, did have. Say, we, we want a nice board, so we can do meal plans and that on it. I bought this one from Home Bargains, I think it was, for like 50p or a pound. So this is what we were working with. <laughs> And now that is, it's a little bit it's nicer. It's just a it? little bit nicer. So I've got a beautiful glass board up in my office that my mum very kindly gave me. And she's had her own business for 20 years, selling projectors, whiteboards and screens and all sorts. And one of the things she has and specialises in are glass boards. This is not going to do justice on camera. It's absolutely gorgeous quality. And it fixes to the wall really easily. And it's magnet, but it's you need strong magnets for it. So ones that are designed for the board. And then there's a pen that comes with it as well, the magnets. Basically, she's got these on a bit of an offer on her website right now for a magnet and a pen and the boards. But this board specifically, I wanted one that would fit in this space. And she has these on like a, on a deal or a bundle. So if you are interested, I'll leave that link below for you. Um, really love it. So. Yes, I get asked about that a lot, glass boards on the home account, actually. Right, we're watching Umbrella Academy. It is half past two. We're just chilling. Not much to report. Just having a chill one, eh? Okay. Benji and Bonnie are both sleeping in the lounge, so I'm going to tidy this. kitchen is tidy. Benj is having a little nap. He is exhausted as you heard him say this morning. And I am going to tidy up this mess that I created in the hallway. And if this is not bad enough, I've got this to deal with over here as well. So I let it get really out of hand. I've got makeup and hair stuff, filming equipment out. I've been shooting an ad this week. So it's everywhere. There is so much to put away. Like everything has a home. I've just been dumping it everywhere. Like look at the worktop here. changed because I made myself all sweaty cleaning and I've tied my hair up and taken my makeup off but I've thrown on a jumpsuit now 
and I'm about to go and do the food shop. Ben just gone to walk Bon, and I feel really good. Like we've just done the bins as well, and just like boring things I was meant to do days ago and just didn't get done. So I'm gonna leave the camera here, go and get what we need. Benji's actually working away again all of next week. So I'm a bit off with my schedule. I wouldn't normally food shop on a Saturday, but uh, I just need enough to get us by for the weekend. And then I will do my own food shop on Monday. I am back from Tesco and I've put away the food shopping. I've put on another wash. I emptied the dishwasher and then I tidied up the surfaces and now I've come up here to carry on putting away some clothes. All right, aircon unit is in. It weighs an absolute ton and it actually does cool and hot. Benji's dad bought it for us last year or the year before. We've had it a while now, but it was still at the old house. Just hadn't brought it over because it's just so heavy. Well, this is nice and noisy now, but this is my evening loungewear outfit. I've got a Hollister comfy bralette on. I've got this Hollister tee and these are Primark shorts. So we've watched a couple of episodes of Umbrella Academy. Getting really into it now. Benji's just playing a little bit of Xbox now. Head, headset on. Call of Duty over here. Football on the iPad. This little one down here, Soundo. I actually am so tired, but I've got a couple of YouTube videos to catch up with, or I did actually buy a book this week, and I have so many books that I have not finished on my Kindle. And I'm gonna be honest, I haven't really been into reading for a while. I thought I would pick it up during lockdown and when I had more time on my hands, but I just haven't been in the mood for it. I find if I go on a trip or a holiday and I pick up a book, I then enjoy reading for like a few months after and I go around in circles like that each year. Anyway, Laura Jane Williams, I followed her forever. She actually sent me one of her books once and she has this new book called The Love Square and it was only £2.50 on Amazon this week. So if it's still available, I'll leave it linked for you. Uh, I don't even know what it's about haven't read it the back of it at all so i just thought because i know i like her writing and yeah i thought i'd give it a go there's another book um that i want to read called olive and i want to read um is it beth o'leary the flat share i've got that on my kindle at the moment i've also got eve of man 2 that i'm still reading um oh i've got midnight sun as well so yeah i've got so many that i want to read but i've just not been reading them so i thought if i buy a physical book then Maybe I feel a bit different. All right, Bonnie is in bed. This aircon is pretty nice in the my. And I'm gonna have a quick shower and then actually read my book in bed. So I read the first chapter of my new book and so far, so good. I really like it. It's very like modern and there's references in it. Like she voice notes her friend and on WhatsApp and I do that to all my friends. And so, yeah, it's quite fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog today. It's been a really nice day, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been great. It's been a really nice day. Really nice Saturday, nice and chill. And looking forward to a, a very similar day tomorrow. Thank you again to Big Potato Games for sponsoring. We absolutely love playing Herb Mentality today. And like I said, 20% off on their website using Brogan20. I'll have all the details and the link in the description for you. Have a lovely rest of your day. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you very soon. Bye.